shirt. <laughs> Just for you. And it still fits. It does. Yes, that's okay. Uh, I don't have many occasions to wear it, so I thought I'd wear it to impress my, a former colleague of mine. I've been fortunate to work with this gentleman. And, and for those of you that, of course, watch the Golf Channel, I, I, I think there's three guys, uh, three gentlemen, uh, they happen to be gentlemen, they could have been women, but three gentlemen in television golf coverage over the years that have really been special in the way they communicate golf. And, and one guy I always think of, I was a little younger, of course, Jack Whitaker. You ever remember Jack Whitaker on ABC all those years, and he do those wonderful essays from the Open and from the British Open. <clears throat> and and Jim Huber, of course, a spectacular for Turner. And Rich, when he gets the opportunity now, you're just too darn busy now with doing live coverage in Golf Central. Uh, when, when Rich gets a chance to kind of uh, wax philosophically and, and uh, uh, tell a story or two on, on the air, I think that's uh, some of the neatest golf television that, that you can watch. And, and do you enjoy doing that? I mean, like I said, you got you got a wide range of, uh, of stuff in your in your in your arsenal. You, you do the live tournaments. You're on the road a lot. You're in the studio. Is that your favorite part? Kind of write and, and just wax poetic. It is. It's the uh, people have a button now at home. It's the oh here goes learner again button. <laughs> I start in with the sun is cascading through the trees. <laughs> I do enjoy it. Um, let me first say thank you and thanks to everybody here. This is, uh, is one of my favorite places uh, to play golf. On the rare occasions that I, I do get the chance to play, uh, I try to teach my two boys how to play right here. Uh, they have basketball games tonight. I'll tell you how well it went. This is about six years ago. Uh, I do recall my youngest son at the time was, I think, five or six. And, and the pattern out here went pretty much like this. He whiffed, he cried, he killed it, and he peed. <laughs> and he sort of did this all day long. And at about, I don't know, what's nice about this golf course is that it, it leaves the train tracks. And I won't say I got frustrated, but I didn't know whether to go inside and pray, or lay down and die, or to hop the Amtrak to Cleveland. <laughs> we, we didn't make it past the seventh hole. Uh, we set, a, I think, a new modern record. We let, I think, 15 groups play the <laughs> My kids thoroughly hate the game. So, uh, no, they don't. They don't hate it. It's just it's a very frustrating game. And I played a very funny round of golf here with Kelly Tillman, uh, Nick Faldo, and Nick's oldest son, Matthew. And uh, we're on, I want to say, the, the, the fifth, uh, fifth hole, trees right, out of bounds left. Is that right? Yeah. Which one's uh, like a straightaway <coughs> part four? Yeah. Uh, very narrow. And Nick hits his tee ball to the right into the trees. It happens once in a while. And now Nick is pulling the cart. He's got the cargo shorts on. And coming down the other way toward the trees as Nick's going toward his golf ball, uh, a group of teenagers, uh, wild looking teenagers. Not a one of them looked as though they could break 120. But one of the kids had a golf ball right where near where Nick hit it. He had hit it in the trees also. So the kid approaches him, he has no idea who he's looking at. He has no idea that it's a three-time Masters champion, three-time British Open champion. And he says, hey, is that your ball? <laughs> and Faldo says, yes, it is. And so Nick proceeds to pull out a club. He swings to try to get it back toward the green. It hits a branch and bounces backwards. And I looked at him and I said, you know, I can't tell right now who's the 30 handicap. That kid would happen right here. <laughs> we got to this uh, this great last little hole, and Faldo's kid really is competitive. He's a pretty good player, doesn't play a lot of golf. He's probably a three handicap. And we got to the last hole, and it was uh, Matthew, the son, and, and I against Kelly and Nick, and it was all even. Nick was not keeping score until I told him. It was all even. <laughs> sure enough, he takes out a three wood hits and just a beautiful little draw right on the front of the green. And his kid matches it right on top. They both birdie. Match square. Have you ever seen Valdo? Ask him about, we call affectionately call it, Winter Park National. <laughs> and he considers it one of the toughest courses he's ever played. That's cute. So anyway, but I do enjoy stories just like that. I'll write about stuff like that. Uh, I wrote about uh, first experience uh, with my kids out here. Any chance I get to try to write a little bit, I enjoy it. I know it was